bitch, I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing. Yeah, you know I done it. That is no discussion, bitch. I'm ballin', ballin'. I made a promise to my mama. What's pop locking and dropping YouTube? It's your boy Jay Less, and I'm back at it with another commentary for you guys today. Year. And so I just want to apologize, man. I'm sorry for the hiatus. I know I haven't been uploading that consistently. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've kind of been under the weather. Um, so I, I've been just resting, and my, my work schedule's really been been absolutely crazy. So I haven't been able to have time to like sit down and not rush edit a commentary and just try to put out the best content I can provide you guys. So. Uh, I apologize for the hiatus, so now that we're into the second weekend of the beta, I will give you my thoughts. Um, I played a bunch of games today. The game that you're watching behind me um, is actually from the first weekend, so I have more gameplay. I have like two matches where on this weekend, so basically I'm just going to kind of give you my more concrete thoughts from playing last weekend and playing this weekend so let's just let's just be honest as call of duty fans as gamers the first beta weekend was atrocious i apologize for the for the train i live right next to railroad track um well not right next to it it's like down the hill there but um to me I, it doesn't bother me i find it nostalgic but if you hear it i do apologize for it um all right so back to back to what i was saying as a call of duty fan player and as a gamer in general let's just let's just be honest with ourselves the first beta weekend was god awful it was trash i don't want to hear anybody defend it, I, it it's just it was to the point where I would try to play the beta, and I couldn't, and I would just get mad and turn off my PS4, and and that's that's bad. You know what I mean? It's just the, the facts. The facts are is that it didn't it didn't play well at all. Um, in this gameplay, you'll see I do go off, but the game the gameplay was just so inconsistent for me. It was it didn't it didn't feel good. It felt like. I guess it, I guess you guys it felt like a beta I guess like I mean I don't I don't really know what else to say I mean it felt like a wonky version of the game and to be honest with you it's like I feel like that was good if, if we didn't have a beta we would have gotten that on launch and I feel like because you know they put out the beta they saw all the fucked up shit with it and were able to correct it so honestly to, to be honest I think moving forward, Call of Duty should always have a beta. I, I, I think that is the golden standard now. Black Ops did it for a week. Um, Infinite, uh, Infinity Ward, excuse me, is doing it for two weekends. So Sledgehammer, you got it, that's the standard now. Treyarch set the standard. There needs to be some form of a beta. And I feel like it's good for the community. I feel like it's good for the game. The fact that after three years of development, it was that terror the experience was terrible it, it kind of frightens me so that that was just the big clusterfuck of the first weekend so i hop on today today actually i uh i had to contact my um my internet provider because i like i, I wasn't able to connect to the internet and there was like this huge ddos that i guess happened in, in america from from what i read in the article that it was just in the in america where Netflix, New York Times, Twitter, Amazon, PSN, like all of them got DDoSed and services were interrupted for pretty much the entire day. I believe it's still going on because I was trying to play some UMGs with uh, Sonic, J Save the Day, Excalibur Zero, and we, we just couldn't join. We ended up having to cancel a match just because we couldn't get, even on Black Ops 3, so that's how you know that the DDoS is affecting everything is just it was hard for our, my our own team to get on to the the servers to to play you know a custom match for um for Black Ops 3. So um even with that though, you know, I waited until the afternoon. I I watched Star Wars 
uh, episode four uh, today. It was the first Star Wars movie I've ever watched. So, and to be honest with you, I kind of fell asleep towards the end of the movie. Um, so I'll probably have to go back and rewatch like the last probably like 30, 45 minutes of the movie, just because my work schedule was crazy. Um, and I, I just couldn't stay up, so I ended up taking like like a two hour nap, and then Destiny came home and woke me up. So, um, but anyway, so let's move on to to this weekend. So I hop on. The game feels, it's like it did a complete 180. It literally changed. This game is different, and in a good way. I enjoyed, even though some of the games that I'm going to be posting, we lost. I still had fun playing. The, the game felt smoother. The hit detection felt really well. I didn't feel like I was getting BS. Now, another issue I'm going to address, though, is the goddamn snipers. Infinity Ward, you have to do something. That is the most aggravating thing. Luckily, luckily the guys that I were playing against weren't that good of snipers. So... It, it wasn't as frustrating. Um, I hope that they. I, it feels like they they hit they 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 patch the the hit fire because the most annoying thing about it would be is when you're when you when you run up on a sniper and you're hit firing with your submachine gun and then the fucker just turns and pulls a trigger and no scopes you. I, that the, I I literally almost threw my controller a couple times because of that because. That is frustrating. Now, if I get quick scope down the hallway, it's frustrating. It's annoying as fuck, but I can live with that. Because at least it was long range. You know, it wasn't like I was right up on him and he just turned and hip fire shot me and I was dead. So, but other than the snipers, the, the game felt really good today. It felt very smooth. Smooth, excuse me. I, I don't even know what word I fucking said. Um, but it just felt like a good game, and I was like, I'm, I'm happy now. You know, I'm happy with how, how... I'm happy with Infinity Ward's recognition to the problems that were in the game, and they're actively trying to make it better. That's what I like to see. That's why I love Treyarch, because if people complain to Treyarch, Treyarch fixes it. They fix it, they fix it and they're like, alright, here we go. You know, and... I'm really happy that Infinity Ward has made patches. Uh, my favorite, my favorite guns in the beta are the K Bar, the uh, FHR, I believe, and the Evo. Those are my three favorite guns in the beta. I also like the Type Two assault rifle that breaks into the Akimbos. I never use the Akimbos; I always just use it as an AR. But so those are my top four favorite guns that I like to use. I like using the Synaptic. With the dual light machine guns, it's my favorite. I probably will never use another specialist other than that. I, I, the trait I use is uh, propulsion. So, so that's just kind of my. I don't know. I, I that's just my thoughts of the beta right now. You know, like I, I, I feel like I'm po I'm happy that it's moving in a positive direction. You know, like it's not like. What I was looking for, I even told this to, you know, my friends that I play with, my close friends, that this is the true test. Moving from week weekend one of the beta to weekend two, if there is not significant progression on how the game feels, plays, etc., all that good shit, then that's when I'll start to worry. But because, the, because it, it's a significant increase... On how how well the game plays and how well um, you know everything works, that I actually have hope. You know, a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's trash. It's this and that." I really like the game. I think that I'm gonna have fun. I think I love the Defender game mode. Uh, they put this other game mode where like you're spawn protected. Um, I thought that was interesting. Um, so. I tried out that game mode. I didn't really know what to think about it, but it, it wasn't bad. It was it was good. Um, so, um, but we'll, we'll we'll see later on down the road. Your boy did uh did I did cop the iPhone Seven today. So um, 
Our little mini review on that is is it's an iPhone. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it's the same. I, I feel like it res like the the touch screen responds quicker. I don't know if it's because I mean I only had an iPhone six for a year because with my plan with AT and T you can trade in every year, so I only held the iPhone six for a year. But but this 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 joint you know boom I'm already in you know I'm on my Twitter, uh, you know you guys can follow me at jlessbmg, uh, one word. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, it, it's a good phone. You know, I like it. Uh, they do give you headphones, you know, so, I mean, granted, it, it, it does have, like, this port versus the 3.5 millimeter jack. To me, I don't even use headphones, to be, to be quite frank with you. I don't, I don't really, I don't really use them. I might use them, you know, more often now because I actually own a pair but before, before I got this phone, I didn't own a pair of headphones. I lost the ones. I, I used to use them to, to work out in. And um, when I kind of fell off of going to the gym, um, I gave them the Destiny. And Destiny goes through headphones like crazy. Um, so, Or they're actually probably in her car, honestly. But I never bugged her to, to give them back because, like I said, I don't really use them. So, uh so, I mean, honestly, guys, man, I just, you know, I, again, I apologize for the, the crazy hiatus, you know, inconsistent uploads, you know, I, I can't stress it enough, man, like, my, f I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, nickname this 40, like, like, like I think I might name it, like, my, my 40 strong, or my 40 ounce, or something, something funny, something goofy, because, you know, you guys have, have, have just stuck in there, man. Like, you know, and I'm just happy that I have people, you know, that watch my content, that enjoy watching my content, or may not even give a fuck about the gameplay, but just like to hear me ramble about some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I really appreciate you guys, you know, coming and stopping by, looking at the channel, watching my content. You know, commenting, all that good shit, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, and actually, I got I got myself a new vape. So, um, that I'm going to save that story for the next video because your boy got fleet nasty in the store with it. <laughs> you know, you know, j man. I ain't going to put up with no bud shit. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so I got myself a new vape. Um, still smoking at 12. I had to go back up because... I was burning through juice, juice. So I, I'm at a 1.2 or a 12. I, if you're a vapor, you'll you'll know what a 12 is. But if you're not a vapor, 12 is just 1.2 percent nicotine. So, um, so I got myself a new vape. Uh, I'm I, my 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 work schedule, like I said, is crazy, guys. So I, I'm going to do my absolute best to at least bang out some videos on a day that I'm off. I am off this upcoming Monday. So Sunday night or Sunday afternoon, I get off at three. So I might just try to bang out some videos, some nice videos for you guys, and then just you know schedule uploads for them. So you know I I can cover you guys for at least a week or two with content, man. So again, I really appreciate you guys. You know supporting your boy it means a lot to me. It really does, man. Like it, it warms my heart when I get comments you know, and, and, and feedback and stuff like that. So, but that's going to wrap it up for the video. You guys, again, I really appreciate it. You know, I just can't say it enough, man. Like I really do. It's, it's genuine, man. Like I really appreciate it. So do it for the video. You guys, thanks for watching and I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. You're Tell me that you love me